you gotta hear this. Lawyers for Work pretty much exposes the truth behind Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion's court trial currently going on. All right, we're back with the rest of the update in Tory Lane. So we are taking our afternoon break. There's going to be more testimony at the end of the day. But right now, let me catch you up on what's happened since lunch. The defense continued and concluded their opening statement. They confirmed that their theory of the case is going to be that Kelsey was the shooter. Tory was just trying to break up the fight. Then the prosecution went up. They put on a police officer as their first witness. This is the police officer who arrived at the scene of the shooting. He testified about how he saw gun casings, blood spatter, this was a big mistake in my opinion because the defense attorney ended up tearing this police officer's testimony to shreds. He basically got the officer to admit that they did not use the proper evidence markers to mark and identify the location of every piece of evidence. So the police cannot tell you where blood was found exactly in relation to the gun casings, where based on the trail of blood the victim would have walked around. They can't tell and paint the whole story of what happened when the person got out of the car. Why, if you can't paint that story, why, if you didn't use the evidence markers, why, if you purportedly have a very simple case, did you waste your time making your first witness a police officer whose testimony is going to get torn to shreds by the defense attorney? Big mistake, in my opinion, if you ask me. From here going forward, the defense will always be able to point out that the government's investigation is completely incapable of telling the jury about the movement of the victim outside of the car. So if you're trying to inject reasonable doubt, alternative theories, you've now done a great job setting it up that the government's story has holes in it.